Hey everybody, I said I would make a little video giving you a couple of examples of this, uh, what shall be called the baseball method. So let's say we multiply 23 by 34. Okay, so the first thing we do is to take these two lines, alright, and uh, that's going to represent the 20 part, and this will be the 3 part. Right. And here are the 3 for 30, and the 4 for 4. So the first thing is just to represent each number as a collection of lines. So we draw these lines, and they represent the number. Just like this represents the number 34, where 34 actually means 34 of something, but I'll not get into that. Um, so next, what we want to do is uh, we just kind of work left to right grouping them, all right? So this is going to be a group, all right? And one group to the right of this and one group to the right of this, they're the same kind of thing. So we group them together. Right? They go in their little group. And we go to the right one here, the one right, one to the right of this, and this is the only thing there is. So uh, it's its own little group, okay? And that grouping isn't magic, it's not arbitrary, it's uh, not because a math genius decided that that was the way it would be. There's a reason that these are grouped together. Why are these the same kind of thing? It's got to be something about the numbers that they represent, right? Um, so we'll work this one left to right, we'll do the next one right to left. Okay, first we'll start on the left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those things. What are those things? Right, these are the kinds of questions you want to ask yourself for class on Tuesday or Wednesday, okay, when we actually start to try and explain this to somebody else. All right. Uh, now we'll count all of these together. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of those, but that's a two-digit number. So this 1 should come over here, all right, and we add it together, we get 7 here. Come over here and we count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 of those. So that's a two digit number. So this comes over here. We add that together. We get 8. Okay? One digit number, one digit number. If this were a two digit number, that would have been all right. Okay. So the answer is 782. Okay. Now, again, we can, yes, do it the normal way well, you know somebody else in class said it uh, very uh, very well it's the way that you were taught okay and the problem is I wonder did you ever think about why this works okay if you just do this and you don't know why it works all right it's uh, it's less useful than it could be right and your understanding of, of math in general is less than it could be. And things in the future that you learn will be more difficult than they need to be. If you understand why this multiplication works, it automatically explains why this multiplication works, because they work for the same reason. Okay? So, in this example, we do 3 times 4 is 12, but we always carry that 1, right? There's the carrying. You both have some kind of carrying. There must be some reason for that carrying. Why is that? Uh, you should be able to explain why that is, right? Uh, 4 times 2, that's 8, plus another one, that's 9. All right? Then, for some reason, we don't write anything here, right? We jump over here. Why is that? Ask yourself that question. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. Then we add it all together, right? 2. 9 plus 9 is 18. We put that one up there. 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay? Even that, when we're adding, we're using this algorithm. We add and we get that 1 there. Why are we putting that 1 there? Why don't we just put it there? Why? Why don't we do it that way? Why are we doing it the way that we're doing it? Let's do another one. Uh, 32 times 54. I'm trying to use numbers that aren't too big and that make lots and lots of lines. We have 32, okay, so we represent that number that way, 3 and 2, 
then 54. 50. 4. Uh, then we kind of separate them, right? This like little corner over here is its own thing. Because these are both one to the right of that, they are the same kind of thing. They get grouped together. Okay? And this gets its own little group. Okay? So we count all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. Now that is a two-digit number, but that's okay. Actually, I said we would work it right to left, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, we'll count all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 6. Okay, no carrying necessary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay. Well, that 2 actually comes over here, and it's like this has two extra intersections already. Okay. So we start out with 2, so then we could just, uh, you know, continue on from there if we wanted to, or we could just count these and add it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Add them together, we get total of 17, so 1726, 1726, okay? What I'm challenging you to do is not to get a correct answer, okay? Not to adopt a new algorithm, not to change everything about how you multiply numbers by hand, but to just think about, did you ever really know what you were really doing when you were multiplying these two numbers together this way, right? This is no more silly than this is. This is just as silly as this is. It's just as weird and strange to someone who's never seen it before. If this is how you had done it, you would think, this is wonderful. This is, there's, there is some great things about this. Like, you see the numbers, right? You can actually visualize it, where these are just symbols that mean 32 and mean 54. Okay? And I, I might be sounding too philosophical and but whatever. Um, what, we're, what I'm trying to challenge you to do is to think about the things that you thought you knew, okay? Re-examine those things, explain those things. And in the future, when I'm asking you to actually think about it and explain something that's new, okay? What I'm telling you then is you have the ability to do that. You don't have to fall back on something that you know how to do but don't understand why it works, all right? Um, you have the ability to reason out all the new things that you're going to learn this year and all the new things that you'll learn in life. And you should always ask, why does this work? I don't understand why this works. Let me ask somebody who knows. Let me uh, figure it out myself. But whatever you do, you have to have the patience to figure out why it works. Okay? So there's a couple of examples um, so that you know how to do it at least uh, for the little quiz at the beginning of class next time um, and then we're going to continue to try and explain why does it work why on earth does this give us the right answer okay this is a very straightforward answer as to why okay i'm going to work out one more example and show you how it could work for a three digit number okay so i'll go 124 and i'll just do another two digit number uh 53 okay so 100 and 20, 4, and 53. There's 50, and here's 3. All right. You might notice I. I paused the uh, recording of the video there real quick because I wanted to make sure that what I was about to say was correct and I, I made sure of that by understanding what I was doing, understanding what these intersections represent, understanding that when I tell you to section these off and to, as I was saying in the previous video, or previous part of the video, move one to the right, okay, and if you move one to the right, one to the right here, one to the right there, these go in a group together, right? That's correct. I want to make sure that was correct, and I can be certain that it's correct because I understand why it works, okay? So we were one to the right, one to the right. We'll go one to the right again, so we go one to the right, uh, one to the right from here, one to the right up there is the same thing, okay? So these, because they're the next 
place to the right. Okay, those go together. Okay, so they get their own little section here, and these are alone. Okay, so these go in a group, these go in a group, these go in a group. Okay, um, now let's do it the way uh, Raimi did it in class, uh, and he just added together each little section and then did all the carrying then. There's no reason why you can't do that. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we have, well, these are five, two, ten, thirteen. Okay, let's count these. I'll just do the you know, multiplication. So I get to five times four, that's, there's twenty. There's six, I can see there. Twenty and six, that's twenty-six. Uh, and here we have uh, three, four, four, so we got twelve. All right, so what you should do now is think, uh, why is he carrying these over? Why is this one now not part of this group, but part of this group instead? Why is this two now part of this group instead of this group? Okay. And why is this one going to be part of this group instead of part of this group? Right. Here's two, right? This one came over here. It's now part of this group. Okay, and why, now this one here, it wasn't a one, it was really like a 10, right? It was 10 plus two is 12. So it comes over here, but it is just a one here, right? So it's worth only one as part of this group, but 10 as part of this group. That's just like a huge hint right there. So that adds up to seven, no double digits, so we don't have to worry about that. Three plus two, that's five, okay? And here we have six, so uh, six, looks like 6,000. 572. Right, so that's what 124 times 53 is. You can verify it by all sorts of different algorithms. The point is not which algorithm do you use. Algorithm is just a, a word that means a set of steps. So it's not about the algorithm you use. It's not about the easiest algorithm. It's not about the algorithm that I know and not the algorithm that I don't. It's about understanding it. All these algorithms are doing the exact same thing. Okay, there's an Egyptian algorithm that is uh, silly in its own way, but it also is correct and is doing the same thing. Okay, so uh, think about it. Know that you have the ability to do this. Okay, stop thinking of math as this bunch of stuff that you have to do and memorize. Okay, if you understand something, really understand it, it makes using it so much easier. Okay, the the better I understand my car the easier it is to use it, okay? If I know what's going wrong with it, I can fix it. It might be an easy fix. I move on my way down the road. If I don't know what's wrong with it, I don't understand it, then my car may die and I have no idea that all I'm supposed to do is, you know, hook a hose back up, all right? So stay strong. Uh, have faith in yourself. I do, okay? We'll get through this and you'll be better for it.